Hi, my name is Alex Chow, and in this video, I will talk about our freight container management app. Before we get into the app, I will talk about a typical scenario where a domestic company would place orders from their overseas factories, and how the overseas factories prepare the shipment for it to be delivered back to the US or wherever the domestic company would be. Next, I will talk about some of the challenges that you may face while doing this process with Out of the Box Business Center. And lastly, I will talk about the freight container management app and how it can make your life easier by consolidating all these processes into one area. For a typical procurement person, he or she may have multiple orders that are created for your overseas vendors. Now these purchase orders may come from your planning, it may come from running your own Excel sheet. All these POs, uh, rarely are you going to get one purchase order to your overseas vendors. Typically, you're gonna create a bunch of purchase orders and keep sending them to your overseas vendors. Because of the long lead time, you would accumulate a bunch of purchase orders for them to manufacture and ship to you. When the overseas vendors receive all these purchase orders from you, they are going to set up their production line. As with any manufacturers, when they are producing a widget, they're going to make as, if they set up a line, they're gonna make as much widget as possible before they switch to another line. Usually because there are startup costs, there are setup costs, there are material costs associated. So they would rather buy a bunch of raw materials and produce one specific good and fulfill all the demand that they have before changing the line and start producing the next item. So once they produce all your a particular widget, they're going to build it into either one. Typically within these containers, it's going to be one item now when the items the containers are ready they would send it to their shipping dock and typically the, uh, the terms for the items are fob which means freight on board which means you assume the ownership of the products when the item is on the ships when the ship makes its voyage across the ocean whenever it lands the port of arrival it will go through customs so once it clears custom you will need to arrange trucking to your warehouse when your warehousing staff receives the items they're not going to be receiving by the purchase order they are going to be receiving by the containers now here are the typical challenges that you may face procuring products from overseas first of all when you receive the bill of lading or the commercial invoice the items on the bill of lading and the commercial invoice are typically not one-to-one -one relationship between the POs that you place. I've seen some companies reorganize their purchase order to match their commercial invoice, but that screws up their planning and order tracking and order linking and reservations. Um, so we don't want to do that. I've also seen some companies go to individual purchase lines and receive each individual line per what's on the bill lading or the commercial invoice. You could do that, but that takes a lot of work. For the more advanced you users, they would uh, enable the warehouse receipts, build a container that way. But the problem is keeping track of when the item is received and when it needs to be transferred from the on the water location to your actual warehouse. Lastly, when you're doing the freight allocations or the land at cost allocations, uh, in Business Central, you will use item charge to do freight allocations. You will need to identify purchase receipt you need to grab in order to allocate your item charge assignments. All this just creates a lot of paperwork, a lot of manipulation, and a lot of workarounds, creating a lot of exception processes. Our container app allows you to create a container as one single place where the user can know the status of the items, whether they're being shipped by your vendors, whether they're on the ocean, or for the warehouse people to receive when it gets to your dock. In addition, it allows you to easily allocate land the cost assignments without having to manually assign the item charges to, to each purchase receipt line. 